Is that my lens? Oh, well. I'm sorry, man. If you can see me at all. Hello. Oh. Anyway, good morning. I got a screaming headache. I've had it half the night. It's like neck tension. Well, my neck's out. It's okay. My back's fucked up. My neck is like out, specifically in one spot where it's like a sharp. Yeah, it's just it makes these muscles all tight. And I need a big friend to pick me up and shake me. I had a friend that would do that. He moved, you know, put my arms like you know, he crack my back. He'd go like. Krrr. I haven't done that in like three years now. It's a big old mess. Not to mention all the other messed up stuff in my back. But anyway, so yeah, it's, I had deed ibuprofen. Um, I did edible and smoke. And just smoking almost irritated it, sort of. Oh, do you hear that? Oh, that was nice. That was right at the base of my neck. Just went pop, big pop, awesome. Plus, I know there's these pressure points I was showed by a chiropractor I can push on them. And I can feel all the way across my forehead. It's like, it's kind of right at the base of your ear, sort of. It's where this muscle comes and then splits, right where it hits this, hit your, it's like branches off, right between them. Get rid of a headache like that, but. If the underlying cause is still there, just keep coming back. Hey, um, I'm a goof. I'm a fucking oversensitive fucking asshole sometimes, and I talk shit and um, undeservedly. So I want to apologize. Um, I didn't mention the gentleman's name the other day in the video, and I won't now, but they know who I'm talking about. So, sir, I apologize. Uh, yeah, just talking out my neck, man. I got no excuse. None whatsoever. I think I know everybody's enterprise and <coughs> who they are and where they've been. <coughs> I fucking don't. <coughs> I fucking don't. I think I'm... Really had to look at it. really made me look at myself. And, uh... I had to... I came to the conclusion that, um having asked for help, I feel vulnerable, and I feel, uh, I don't know, like, I'll be attacked for it, and I feel, um, like, you know, what, I got enough balls to get my own shit together, you know, couldn't find no fucking bootstraps, what, <laughs> and, uh, uh, to some degree, I hold people to that account, to that level, too, you know. I'll also be the first one to offer help, so I don't know. It kind of it was a, it's a dilemma for me to ask, and then I, and when having asked, I look back at that video. I'm like, you I'm a fucking crybaby, and I realize it, and I just like, you know, it's kind of a bitter pill to swallow when you realize you're just kind of a fuck up, basically. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a completely bad way. <laughs> I, I think I mean it in a aren't we all? <laughs> so, here's to the fuck ups in the world, me being the number one, man, and I do apologize. So, okay. Yeah, it's, it's, um, I can't, the work I need to find, I just can't find, like, I'm, I've been able up till now to find little gigs that turned into, like, you know, things I could use part-time, but I have to work on this place. i got like a month to get it, basically to flip a house. So, and I'm doing the work by myself, and I'm not, I'm getting paid, but I'm charging a lady that can't afford it, so I'm not charging all my hours, and, char and the money doesn't come in my pocket, it comes off rent when I eventually get in there. So it's not helping me pay what I need to pay now to get through till that point, so it may have a better explanation of why I need help and why I needed help. Um, 
and just recently someone helped again, man, someone who had helped before. It's just a huge fucking, huge difference, and we're closing in on getting to halfway to our, to our 3,000 mark, so it'd be really nice if more came in. I'm not going to lie to you, man. Fucking, I could just keep going balls to the wall on this place. What I told the guy I gave uh, last time was, uh, in my thank you to him, was, you know, this will help me, allow me to stay completely focused on just that place, and maybe not completely on its own, but it has helped me get to that level, and that point of, uh, you know, of being able to focus just on working on that place, basically for free, you know. And yes, my wife is working now. We have an income. It won't come in until after the after October. So at that point, we're looking like a month, we're a month out. Um, and at that point, that money won't cover. I mean, we got, you know, it's not going to cover. We can't pay everything, get everything out of hock, and pay all our current bills, and pay the bills we'll have then with her income. That first check's just not going to do it. You know, eventually over time we could, and we will. But so the boost we needed was the boost I asked for to get us over the top so we could just be happy, healthy, and 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 focus on on the spot, you know, so. But I think scientists owed dude a better explanation, too. So, that's on the, in Northwest Washington. And so, yeah, the other, someone else had mentioned one of their jobs on Craigslist. Yeah, I'm a skilled carpenter, and I have most of my tools, and I can get some of those jobs, but they, I can't tell the guy, hey, yeah, I can do this for the next year, because I can't. <laughs> Um, I can't come fall. I gotta start using my degree so I can pay for my fucking degree. You know, it didn't come free. And they're gonna, I've deferred my loan payments, man. So we have deferred loan, my deferred loan payments, hers are gonna come up. So it's gonna swallow a chunk of our income. And I'm willing to pay that because I, I do believe I'm gonna turn that, that degree into a decent income. Because it'll open. Once I get in a place, I'm, I, now I can do it at more of a ground level. I want to work for somebody else while I develop my own enterprise. Because um, it won't be the sole income like it has been for the last, you know, year and a half with her in school and me done and not able to use my degree. So, yeah, I'm look, I need to find very specific work. And so I have some feelers out there and I have some other people that might give me some work and so I'm working on that as well. But it's stuff like, I can't kind of come over on a Saturday and bust out a fix on your porch and get a couple hundred bucks, and now I'm going to go, i got to go work on this duplex. My son works a full-time job, my daughter works a full-time job. Um, they have three to four kids at home, depending on what, what day it is. So We all have things, irons in the fire, and we're struggling to get to that point. And we're going to be a much stronger family once we're all in this same duplex together, in this one unit, a three-bedroom next to a two-bedroom. I'm working on the three bedroom now, they'll move into three and then I'll fix up the two for me and my wife. So, and she's like working on lesson plans in her spare time when she's not teaching. <coughs> she can get up, we get up at 4.30, she gets home like 5.30. <coughs> so, we've been, <coughs> we're not, <coughs> We're not just hanging out hoping we can live off GoFundMe. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> meant to be a boost to our enterprise, what we're doing. I didn't mean this whole thing to be about all that. But apparently it's on my mind, so... How was your day? <laughs> um, I can't wait to move my horde. One of these one of these phone booths are going inside the house. Maybe both of them. My wife wanted to use it for reading booths for kids. Where they could sit quietly and read. Have a little booth and have little shelves, maybe for a couple of books and uh, plus you could teach them about phone booths you know it's a whole idea that's foreign to kids phone booth what do you need a booth for a phone a phone booth hmm. pretty crazy huh anyway so Smoking Granddaddy Purple I grew out of a pipe 603 Terp Chaser gave me. Um, yeah, I'm wearing a shirt my son Chance gave me. I think the screen does weird things. And a hat my other son gave me, as a matter of fact. And some sweats I bought me. 
I also I had shoes. My son brought me a pair of shoes. He goes, what size shoes do you wear? And I text and I go, uh, 14, but you'll never find them. And 13 if they're big. And he brought me some 13 bands that are leather. Fucking badass. And they fit. They're like 14. They're wide enough. They're, you know, the older you get, your feet kind of flatten out. And, you know, you, get, you don't stop growing ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> anyway, you start to look like Buddha. Your earlobes get real big. And, I want to have earlobes that land on my shoulders. I won't be sold. <laughs> Big old bald head Buddha. All right. So here's to you and yours, man. Uh, appreciate the help very much. Uh, please keep it coming in, man. And let's get this job done. And so today I'm going to go over and work on some. Uh, I did some metal bead yesterday and some initial mud and tape and in a lot of spots there's one thing I gotta fix it's like didn't have much backing I want to make that a little better more secure it's behind a cabinet it's not that important and I want to make sure I mark all my studs for my cab so I don't have to find them later uh, since I have the ability to see them you know in a couple spots anyway I'm thinking out loud but yeah I want to finish I want to go in there and do some sanding and some more mudding I need to get my 10 inch blade my 10 inch knife and feather some stuff out well, and start making it look pretty and then I sanded all the way I sanded two of the bedrooms and the hallway so I got to sand the big bedroom and the living room and then the floor will be basically ready although I'm gonna let them you know do you want to go over the floor one more time in your in your room if there's anything in here you want to sand down I got it probably 75 to 85 percent done Meaning that, you know, it's down to fresh wood, except near the edge there's a lot of paint. I'm not going to take all the paint out because they're going to be painted again. Got the stains out, got anything, you know, that was above surface, down, any nails and staples, screws, pull, ground out of the way. So, and it'll be on to, you know, got the walls and everything pretty. It'll be de dust everything. And, uh, and then we'll go through with fine tooth comb again before we start painting. We'll just paint and then see what it looks like. Just any divots we missed, we can see them and fix them. It's not a big deal. You know, while we're doing the primer, we use some kills. It's like 40 bucks for five gallons. We'll probably use a couple of them because we're doing floors, walls, everything. We're coating the whole fucking place with kills. Um, we're not using any base. And it's going to be wood floors with throw rugs. We use throw rugs. No more. Not putting carpets in. So, so instead of base, I have some rubber base we can use in the bathroom and the kitchens. But it's like reddish. <laughs> You might want to go get some different color, but I think my wife, when I'm talking to using the reddish, it's like a big six inch base, man, for restaurants and shit. I think it'd be awesome in the bathroom. It's just more effective, fuck it, and in a kitchen. It's more industrial, commercial size, so that'd be awesome. And uh, so anyway, I got plans and kind of be able to get to it, so I got to get um, going. Yeah, so I hope that clears some things up in a more rational, even mi minded tone instead of me being my emotional fucking stupid self. Derp, 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 derp. Yeah, I did a big derp. I think I did, anyway. And so, uh, alright, man. Take care of yourself and those around you, man, and because you're apparently pretty good at it. <laughs> alright, man. Take care. Oh, please, happy peace.